Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I was thinking we could paint a bee in a looser style and I guess this will be something fun. It will be a real-time video so I will just guide you through every single step of the way. And I did do my sketch earlier on um, just a regular printing paper. I traced it already onto my watercolor paper. And of course, the sketch is available for download. You can find the link in the description box of this video. And it is on my website. You can download it free uh, for yourself and just to join in also if you don't need a sketch if you don't if you think you do not need a sketch that's well i guess optional you don't have to it's gonna be a looser painting so you can just do it without a sketch at all and i'm just using this kneaded eraser this is from faber and castell to remove the excess graphite because i was using a graphite paper to trace my sketch so i just want to remove the excess graphite. I don't want it smudged all over my paper. So I thought it would be a fun weekend project just to paint a beautiful bee in a, as I said, quite simple and loose style. I won't be using a lot of colors, just some yellow. And actually I'm gonna use this uh, from Sennelier. This one is called Yellow Lake. It's quite vibrant yellow. And I'm gonna mix it with brown, with coffee brown from my sets, just to tone it down. And also I will be using some black for some parts of the V and I believe maybe some blue. And those are all the colors uh, we're gonna use. And First, I will start, well, I guess I won't be privetting the paper. I will be using this Raphael brush. This is, I think, um, hmm, I believe it's number 10, if I'm not mistaken. It's just erased here, so I'm not really sure. I do believe it's uh, number 10. Actually, the size of the brush depends on the size of your paper. And if your B is uh, bigger, you should use a bigger, bru bigger brush. And if it's smaller, of course, a smaller detail brush. Maybe I will be using some other brushes later on. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna see how uh, it comes to me, but I will definitely let you know. So let's just get started. I will just start, I'm gonna skip the head and I will start with this part of the body, just picking up some clean water and I'm gonna wet that part. And then I will pick up a little bit of the yellow lake it's quite vibrant you can see quite quite vibrant color and I'm just gonna get it here on the part that I've privated just gonna pick up a little bit of the brown this coffee brown place it here and I did uh, splatter some water onto my paints before I started to paint just to just to add a little bit of the well I guess to oh my god <laughs> to initiate the paint to make it easier to pick up from my palette. Now I've picked up a little bit of the black and also some brown and I'm just going in just beneath the part I already painted. Just adding that black and I don't mind if those two parts touch. That's fine. I do want some bleeds and then clean water and just going in the lower one, just beneath that one. And you can see I have touched a little bit of the paint black and that's fine. It's going to bleed. That's just fine. Again, mixing that yellow and some brown. 
then again I'm gonna pick up more black just paint in the part here again my paint is touching that's fine it's bleeding one into the other clean water and again add a little bit of the water in the part beneath and it's just gonna be how I'm gonna go all the way into entire body of my bee so like that and a little bit more of the black mixed in with some brown just going in the lowest part of our bee and again I'm just in some parts letting those two parts of the bee touch and you can add a little bit of the paint like that just adding here and there while well, the paint is still wet like that that's gonna be the upper part of the body and I'm gonna do just a couple of splatters to move the paint slightly I do want it to have some bleeds here and there like that just to make it a little bit more interesting and if you want you can pick up just a little bit smaller brush I'm gonna do that get some black and just add a little bit more of the black here and there I do want those parts that are black to be black and now we can go back to our head and paint in head just leaving the part where the eyes are still white skipping those parts like that some black you don't have to be perfectly precise just take that take that um, sketch as a guide you don't have to be as I said perfectly precise and I'm gonna get a little bit more of that yellow very very vibrant just stop in here and there just to create some stronger yellow on my B like that so that's gonna be that and now I will just move on to the lower part I have to move this my paper is big and this V is tilted so I just have to shift everything to make it easier for myself so a little bit more of the black a little bit more of the brown mixed in with that black and we're gonna start this lower part and as I said you don't have to be so very careful it doesn't have to be perfect it's going to be a loose B, so you don't have to stay perfectly inside the borders of the sketch. It's not going to be, you know, something that's fully, fully necessary. So I'm just to see my water. And again, just clean water on my brush, and I'm going just touching some parts of my bee and then picking up yellow and adding that yellow there it's gonna bleed one inside the one in, into each other some lighter brown again topping in and then I'll again clean water just moving the paint, some yellow and some brown like that and I'm gonna get again some black 
go into this part like that and if you skip some parts and leave some parts white it's also going to be nice like that and then we do have the last one and for the last one I'm gonna get just a clean water and go into my black and just put it to smooth the paint to the lowest part like that some black maybe I should do that with a smaller brush so I don't want it to bleed to fill the entire way like that and you can paint in that little like that if that's what you like so that's gonna be it I'm gonna pick up again some clean water go on top of the lower part I just painted and then I'm gonna get a little bit of the yellow and do a couple of splatters with yellow and a couple of splatters with brown and if I move a little bit of the paint like that, that's just fine there you go for a B and you can go back if that's what you like and add a little bit more pigment in some parts just might do that while the paint is still wet especially on the head of my bee like that and then for the eyes we will just paint the outer side of the eye and leave one little spot like that white there you go like that like that for our B and as I said, if you want to smudge some parts, add a little bit more of the pigment here and there, like make it look like some bleeds, that's fine. So that's going to be it for that. I'm going to get black mixed in again with a, just a touch of brown. And I'm going to paint in the, well, I guess feet, legs, whatever they are. Again, leaving some parts white. Like that, and moving on to the lower leggies. Just added the first layer and then on top adding a little bit more of the black on one side like that. So also for the second and I do have some paint here that is still wet. It's gonna make some bleeds but that's gonna be fine. Not everything has to be perfect so this is Again, mix of that black and brown. You can see here I do have some paint there. So it's gonna bleed. That's fine. So I said we're doing a loose B. So not every part of it should be perfect. Detailed. like that there you go 
cute little bee. And now you can do uh, these little with brush or you can just use a gel pen to do them. I will do, I will use a brush. There you go. Like that and also we're gonna paint in the wings and for the wings I will be using same mixtures of colors and I said I'm just pick up a little bit of the blue mix it in here create a grayish tone not actually here I will use it with brown Let's just clean this part up so I'm gonna get some brown put it here and I will get some blue put it here create a grayish tone like that and then just add a touch of yellow this is a warmer yellow to it like that first I will wet the entire wing I do have some paint in my brush maybe that's gonna be even enough <laughs> like that a little bit more here like that to the wing and I will get some more blue because I like the idea to have some blue in those wings just gives it a little bit more like transparent look then moving on to the second one again add a bit of the pigment there some brownish and if you like add a little bit more blue you don't have to paint both of those wings same they don't have to be same like that and then again I'm gonna get to that smaller brush detail and I'm gonna pick up some black and just go in this upper part and since the paint is still wet we will have the leads but that's fine inside the wing right like that there you go some details and you can add also more details right now so I do believe this just gives a little bit more of the transparency when the paint is very very light I'm gonna get more off and just go even more on top it's gonna be a beautiful bee now just a little bit more to make this outer wing a little bit darker especially this upper part like that the edges there you go maybe one central one like that and just gonna rinse my brush slightly pick up a little bit more of the black and do a couple of splatters on those wings with black a little bit darker black and just a little bit more splatters black on top of the B entire B and I will get a little bit of the blue water it a bit down just add 
some blue splatters here and there like that a little bit more of those black quite saturated black like that let's just dry that and I'll see if I want to add anything more so I have dried that now and I do want to add just a little bit more of warm yellow here so I just picked up some yellow and I'm gonna go on top of my wing with just that yellow do a light glaze so if you don't know what the glaze is it's just adding one color on top of the other one on top of the other layers and just on a dry right when your paint is dry previous layers are dry so a couple of more splatters now with that yellow and i think i'm just looking whether or not i want to add a little bit more of the whether or not i want to add a little bit of the ink but you know what not not for now let's just dry again those wings and i have dried those wings now i will just get a little bit of the ink pen this is zero two from micron and i'm gonna go just a little bit over my wings just add few details on the wings So on the other side, I do want this part to be a little bit thicker. The edge. Like that. And then just... You don't have to, again, paint in. Both sides equally. maybe just add a little bit more of the thickness to some part of those lines to some of the lines not all of them like that love that now I have this little you know if I can help it but I always love to add a little bit of the ink so this ink and pen ink and watercolors is just becoming my favorite technique There you go. So that's where I'll be. That's where I'll be. Just looking if I want to add a little bit more yellow also here. And these parts of the bee on the yellow parts just to make them slightly like that just to have a one a little emphasized part left lighter it's just it's perfect perfect there you go I won't be doing anything else I love it just the way it is so here is RB done. I hope you like it. You can see it's quite fun, loose little bee. And I guess hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a real time. I know you've just been asking me for real time videos a lot. And I guess 
I do like to make real-time videos, it's just, well, <laughs> it's different. So sometimes I feel like it, sometimes I don't. I just feel like playing music and painting and later on recording voiceover. I do like to paint with music on. Lately, somehow, I've been into some jazz, so I'm listening to some soft jazz and painting. And, well, when I do record with the voiceover in the real time, it's just usually me and no music because, you know, for obvious reasons. And I would also love to see some suggestions of yours to, you know, to let me know what would you like me to paint, to show you how to paint. I would really, really love that. So if you do have any suggestions, write them in the comments. And well, I guess thank you for joining me in this video, for painting with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I guess, again, there is a sketch available. All the materials I've used are listed in the description box. So if you want to see something, if you do want to, you know, check something out, you can find it there. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.